Hello, good afternoon. Uh, one of my goals this year is to build upon the, the progress you guys made in building your Canvas courses last year. And one of the first tasks that I want to take on is cleaning up your courses. Uh, as I've learned and gone through your courses, um, uh, one of the things I've noticed is that there's just simply a lot of files and it can be overwhelming to me, so I'm guessing it's overwhelming to students too. So. We want to make that information clean and easy for them to use on a daily basis. Now, the features that you learn today, you can use to clean up not only uh, your modules, but your pages, and to just set your course up in a much clearer way. The key to being successful in this way is to develop a structure that keeps all your information in your course while also not leaving that long list of information where you're scrolling for days and it's very very simple to do so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into modules so when you get into modules a lot of you have probably realized that for instance you have underneath the first module of your course you have all kinds of information a grading scale acceptable use policy video permission slip, what, whatever. Um, and I've looked at all kinds of courses and I've found, here's one from English 11, here's one from Physics. So anywhere from eight to 10 files. So really simply, we can fix this uh, in just a couple minutes and leave you really with something that I think is a lot nicer and uh, cleans up your, your files. The first thing you need to do is we're going to create a new page and for our sake today we're just going to create it right here under this file so we're going to create a new page and I'm going to call it I'm going to call it English 10 course information and then I'm going to add that item and you'll see it'll show up right here um, I can then move it wherever I need to move it but I'm going to put it right here, just for, for this sake. Now I'm going to open this page, and you'll see that it says English 10 course information. I'm going to hit edit. You know, the thing you'll want to add is, you can you can build a header, if you'd like, English 10. I'm going to highlight that. I'm going to give it a header. Then I'm going to skip down, and I'm going to build a bulleted list of items that I would have for my course, video permission slip. So now I've added in all of my uh, documents. And so what I'll do next is I'll just go through and I'll highlight the text. And then I'll come over here to the side and I'll say, okay, I've got files for that. So I'm going to go down and I'm gonna look for my course syllabus. Here it is, and I'm going to look for my video. Hit save. You'll see I've created a file, a one page with all of those documents on it. And then I'll go back into my modules. And right underneath my course, right underneath my course, like in this one, this case it's a physics course, I've created this physics course information page. Right underneath that, there is a nice neat file of all the documents. And what that does is it replaces this long list of documents that I might have had and it replaces it in one page. And most of this information is stuff I would have kept, I would have used at the beginning of the year, or students might refer back to once in a while. As I've said before, uh, you can use this um, kind of information to go into your other courses, into your own courses, and you can look at your learning modules and say what information could I bundle together and so in this case it's a geometry course here's your course description 
you can also do a page of like if you have video lessons or you have class resources uh, I really like this video lessons page because one they're all for the whole unit are on one page but if you want to watch the video you want to have students watch the page they click it and they can watch it right on the page but all of the videos then are on the page and so instead of having that long list and I'll show you <clears throat> what one of these units can look like so you can have chapter four here but then look all of the we could eliminate and cut back on all of this we can make that unit shorter and easier for students to use I hope these tips help if you'd like assistance with cleaning up your canvas page or uh, adding to it please let me know and I hope you have a great rest of your day